Hello everyone and welcome to another insightful episode of GCK Daily. We hope you'll be blessed by today's message. Today we're going to listen to a message that shows us how God rebuked Nebuchadnezzar for his pride and made him a better ruler. Let's listen as Pastor Kumi brings the word to us. In Daniel chapter 4, reading from verse 1, Daniel chapter 4 verse 1, it says, Nebuchadnezzar, the king unto all people, nations, and languages that dwell on in all the earth, peace be multiplied unto you. Look at verse 2. In verse 2, I thought it good to show the signs and wonders that the high God has wrought toward me. In verse 3, he says, How great are his signs and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to generation. Verse 34. In verse 34, it says, And at the end of the days, the days of discipline for Nebuchadnezzar, the day of heaven having impact and real irresistible pressure on the man on earth. It said, at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven, and mine understanding returned unto me. He had lost his understanding. He had lost his mind. He had lost what made him a man. But now he said, at the end of the time of the discipline, my understanding returned unto me. And I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored him that liveth forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. Verse 35, it says, And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. All the inhabitants of the earth, when they make themselves opposed to the Almighty. Now this does not talk about Daniel. Daniel, a beloved man before the Almighty God. This does not talk about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Abesh, and Abednego, and um, all those three people, it, it, they were so important in sight of the Lord. The Lord God of heaven sent Christ unto them. And it's not talking of people like Peter, like John, like James. It's not talking about people like Paul. Paul, because God appointed him to be an apostle that will carry his message to the rest of the world, but the ordinary people and the normal people and the monarchs and the kings and, and the people on earth, all these inhabitants of the earth that regard God as nothing, God also regards them as nothing. So listening to this teaching should leave a few impressions on our mind. Number one, how do we regard God? We see his signs and wonders and mighty works daily. Do we appreciate them or do we complain? Are we wide-eyed and mystified by them, thirsting for him like a deer pants for the water? When we regard God, he regards us. He looks after us. He protects us, just like what he did with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So let's keep listening. All the inhabitants of the earth that make God of nothing, God also makes them of nothing. And Nebuchadnezzar himself, an emperor, Nebuchadnezzar himself, a king all over the powers, all over the universe at that time, 
those who regard me, those who honor me, I will regard and honor. And those who despise me and make little of me, I make little or nothing of them. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven. And among the inhabitants of the earth, none can stay a sand or say unto him, what doest thou? Verse 36, in verse 36, at the same time, my reason, my reasoning, my faculties return unto me and for the glory of my kingdom, my honor and brightness return unto me and my counselors and my lords such unto me and I was established in my kingdom and excellent majesty was added unto me. Now he concludes in verse 37. It says in verse 37, Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, for real, I, Nebuchadnezzar, with conviction, I, Nebuchadnezzar, with a change of life, a transformation of heart, I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol, exalt and honor the king, capital king, the king of heaven, who has authority over all the kings and the lords and the emperors on earth and all whose words are truth and his ways judgment and those that walk in pride at that time and at this time those that walk in pride like Pharaoh like Nebuchadnezzar like Herod and those that walk in pride among all men in every generation those that walk in pride he is able to abase. That's why we're looking at this chapter now. Able, able, the God who is able. You know, God loves us so much. Even when we stray, he corrects us and he helps us to do better. See what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. He got consumed with pride and God rebuked him. And then he repented and recognized the supremacy God the Father. And so if you have lived in pride and in disregard for God, this is your chance to repent. Join us as Pastor Kumi leads us in the prayer of salvation. Let's up that hand and stand up and say, Lord, here I am. I come so that I will not be under the rule of the kingdom of darkness, kingdom of disease, kingdom of depravity, kingdom of defilement, and kingdom of demons or kingdom of death. Now, I come in connection with Christ. I accept him as my savior. I accept him as my Lord. Raise up the hand and stand up and say, Lord, I come out of all those kingdoms. I come into the kingdom of Christ. He's my savior and Lord right now. Keep on standing as I pray with you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because of the call because of the connection and because of the conversion that we have now lord i pray forgive everyone responding now forgive them their sins in jesus name take the punishment of sin away from them take the pollution of sin away from them break the power of sin out of their lives in Jesus name grant them your salvation your forgiveness your freedom your redemption right now I pray Lord you take their portion 
take their name out of the kingdom of darkness, defilement, and bring them into the kingdom of your dear son. Let the joy of salvation come up in every heart standing right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the revelation that had been lost, but now you have recovered, you have revealed your secret unto us. You have revealed the secret that sickness canceled, disease canceled, demonic power canceled, premature death canceled, and you have brought us up from the dungeon and prison of captivity. And you have raised us up to sit in heavenly places with Christ, the Christ of all power. I pray the power of Christ will manifest in every life right now in Jesus' name. All the power of demons, evil spirits broken away from your life now. Disease canceled right now in Jesus' name. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Dominion for everyone. Lord, I pray any sickness from the top of the head to the tip of the toe. Take everything out right now in Jesus' name. Madness, insanity, you are crushed and cancelled. Swelling, goiter, tumor, fibroid, hernia, elephantiasis, hunchback, be removed now in Jesus' name. Blindness, dim my sight, the Lord touch you now, heal you now in Jesus' name. Deafness, dumbness, you are healed now in Jesus' name. That is your blood dry up right now in Jesus' name. Pal, be healed in Jesus' name. All that oppression in the night, evil powers pressing you down, tormenting your life, double crossing your way, I command that evil power, evil spirit, evil personality, come out in Jesus' name. And I pray for those who have stepped on poison, and since that time, the heat from the uh, bottom of your feet, everything is just, uh, you know, tormenting your life, you are delivered in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have a kidney problem and they have lungs problem and they have breathing problem. I pray, touch them right now. Heal them in Jesus' name. Every kind of sickness, every form of infirmity be taken out of your life right now. And that Christ, the cornerstone of our salvation, of our healing, of our deliverance, of our dominion, strike every evil thing out of your life right now in Jesus' name. You're free. You are healed. You are delivered. Manifestation in your life right now. Performance in your life right now. Demonstration of divine power in your life now. In Jesus' name. It is done. It is confirmed. You are healed. You are delivered. Thank you, Lord, for the confirmation. In Jesus' name I pray. It is done. I said it is done. Check up yourself now. You'll see that miracle, that healing signs and wonders already there. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. 
awesome in power, our God, our God, our God. Let's go to the first verse. What do you turn into wine? What do you turn into wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. No one like you, Lord. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes you rise. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the global crusade with Kumi. We believe that you've experienced Christ's surpassing love for you and his willingness to guide you, bless you, and be with you all the days of your life. He's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, and you can always depend on him. We are really excited to further connect with you and your family. The easiest way to communicate with us is through our online connection card at gckhq.org slash cwc. While there, you can leave us a message about any needs you may have, grab helpful resources to help you with your next steps in your journey with Christ, and please let us know how we can pray for you. We love you. God loves you. We can't wait to meet you at our next Global Crusade. Times and dates are listed on the screen from your specific geographical time zone. Thank you.